Mama G here, back in her pantry. You know, we've got a, a lot of pantry to cover. So I'm gonna just keep hitting it and uh, don't have a videographer today, so uh, hopefully I can let you see exactly what I want you to see, but I thought I would just go back at it and uh, continue on. So, um, as I mentioned, that this is my dining room, now my kitchen, my pantry, and I cut it in half. I have half storage for my office on the other side, which goes that way. And then this goes into my kitchen, so I have the ability to have this wonderful pantry. Now, I don't expect everybody to have a pantry like this, but what I want you to know is that I want you to have your pantry, whether it's shelves in your cabinet, whether it's a little closet, whatever that looks like, maybe it's a rack outside in your garage, I wanna make sure that your pantry is stocked. So I want to share my pantry with you and give you some ideas of things that I suggest you might have in here. So I think we stopped kinda in this vicinity. I, last time I stopped with this drawer here, which has things in there that are not mine. It's gotta always be, you know, the other people in the house. We've got uh, six adults living in the house. You know, it's COVID and all, so. Um, not control of everything that I've got here, but this is a drawer that has mostly bean pastas. So I'm a big fan of bean pastas. Um, I think with whole wheat pasta, bean pastas, there's the brown rice, some of these whole grains, there's this period of time where you kind of have to get used to the new textures. So just be open-minded, right? And sometimes you have to go half and half these are things, but if these things are, you know, combined with beautiful sauces and vegetables and other things are with them, you're not so aware of the texture quality, but I, it's just something that we do now, so everybody gets it. Um, so there's so many options now, and I'll usually pick these things up depending where I am, but you know, there's lentil pastas, and um, this is a, a lentil and quinoa pasta. What else do we have in here? Another lentil. I try to buy different shapes. There's um, Bonza makes chickpea pastas. You can buy this anywhere. This is from Or Organics. I forget where this is. Albertsons, maybe. This is a black bean pasta, which I've yet to try, but you can find every shape you want in the bean pasta. What's nice about it, especially for people out there who are vegetarian or vegans, it gives you a big fat boost of protein. So if you're not including animal protein, or shall I say animal flesh? I have to say it. Um, it's a great option for you. One of the other things that I recently bought was um, edamame pasta from um, Costco. So I haven't tried it yet, but it is again, another option, again, really high in protein. So these are uh, all options for you to include in your soups and stews and pasta dishes to just boost the protein, especially as I mentioned, when you aren't gonna include animal protein with it. Um, because I have so much pasta in my pantry, um, I just have to show you, you know, certain places carry certain things, right? So depending on where you live. So Amazon has been a real lifesaver in terms of picking up things that I really enjoy. So um, this was one, this Garofalo, G-A-R-O-F-A-L-O, Garofalo Parpadelli. Now, who doesn't love a Parpadelli? Do you see the thick, white egg noodle, noodles? And they are first ingredient, whole durum wheat flour. And this is where you start to have to make the differentiation between um, your uh, carbohydrates that are made with wheat flour, which means they have knocked off all the endosperm and the bran and all those um, items that give you more nutrition and more fiber, okay? It's okay to eat, to have a white or wheat flour, right? Because all of those products are enriched because so many people use them so they have actually FDA regulation where they're enriched but we can't enrich the fiber into them but if you're including those things with vegetables and um, other wholesome ingredients you don't have to worry about it so much right so just be more flexible but in my house I have complete control so I will 100% choose a whole grain option in my house all right let's go down so I also have an Asian drawer, and this is where I have all kinds of different things. Um, I do a ramen every once in a while. So again, you'll see white noodles, all right? So here's like a brown, uh, this is a brown rice noodle, but I wanna show you a white option. So if you're gonna do pad thai, right? You can buy the pad thai noodles. Now again, if you wanna stick with the original, like if you're culturally, you know, trying to, you know, stay with that particular culture, right? <laughs> 
what did I just say? Um, you know, this is made with rice flour. So bottom line is, you know, there is fiber in this. Um, there is some nutrition in this, right? If I can boost the nutrition by using a whole grain variety, I'm going to do it all day long, all right? So just so you know that. So when I do my rice ramen, I found this millet and brown rice ramen, right? A little bit more nutrition as it is a game changer. Absolutely not. Would you prefer to stay with the original item based on the, you know, cuisine you're cooking? Do it. But just make sure you increase that nutrition using healthy fats, um, lots of produce, and lean proteins as well. So it's all about balance. So that's my little drawer. I've got, you know, teriyaki sauces, soyakis, and barbecue sauces and things like that. My goal is, is that the, the ingredients are, you know, soy sauce and you know, sugar or brown sugar, but we're not seeing high fructose corn syrup. We're not seeing a lot of um, additives and preservatives and all of those kind of things. We want to stick with basics because tell you what, it's a heck of a lot easier to buy a little sauce like this and have to necessarily prepare it. So a lot of my clients don't have time, don't want to. So I want to be able to offer options to them when they want to do a quick little stir fry bowl. We can steam some brown rice or white rice if they really want to. We can grill some chicken that's been marinated in one of these marinades. We can um, do a little pre-cook or a little steam on some veggies and then stir fry with a little sesame oil and put a little sauce with it and you have a really beautiful wholesome bowl that doesn't have to be made completely from scratch but that we add wholesome ingredients to it so it's just this constant learning process of trying to you know incorporate more wholesome foods into your life whether it's all from scratch or whether you get a little help from your friends right so i think we had talked about that i have a plethora of different flowers and these kind of things i have whole wheat you know, bread flour, whole wheat pastry flour, whole wheat this and that. I also have white everything. I also have white sugar and brown sugar and honey and maple syrup. These are just things I have in my pantry if we are making, you know, treats or splurges or uh, whatever happens to be needed, right? They just live in my pantry and they can live for long periods of time. Um, moving on to the next drawers are really my huge assortment of carbohydrates. So this is where people are like, well, how can you eat carbs? I heard that carbs are bad for you. Well, here's the deal. Wholesome carbs actually are really wonderful, right? So when we think about your body's preferred and primary fuel source, that is carbohydrates. Now, we're not talking about donuts and candies and cakes and pastries and cookies and crackers and things that live on a shelf for 2,000 years. All right, those are treats. Preferably, you're gonna have those things. I'd like you to make them homemade. I would like you to you know, have something special. But in all reality, you know, that's not what's happening out there. So in Mom and G's world, I'm trying to encourage my client to eat real wholesome food on a regular basis. And so we incorporate starches and grains in our life. Why? Because they're full of fiber. Why? Because they're full of B vitamins, so many other nutrients. They give you, you know, this inclusion of all kinds of foods in your life. They make your meals so much more exciting and they drive your health and they give you the much needed calories that you actually deserve. So in this particular drawer, I have whole grain brown rice, a short brown rice. So when I'm doing my little Asian, you know, kick, I've got that, you know, but then I've got, you know, a red rice and I've got a black rice and I just made a really great salad with wild rice, a cold salad. Um, I've got every kind of, I've got long grain brown rice. I've got long grain jasmine rice. What else do I have in here? I have red lentils. I have small green lentils. Anything that I can have in here to keep me occupied and busy cooking, I'm going to do it. I have Black beans that I bought one day, I think it sprouts because they were available, um, but I've yet to cook them because it takes a long time to actually plan to use um, dried beans. I have split peas in here, which are wonderful to make some split pea soup, delicious. I have pinto beans in here, which I could certainly make from scratch anytime I want, but guess what? I'm gonna defer to. I am going to defer to my plethora of canned, um, canned beans, that I keep in my house. So let's just talk about what's here. So I've got pretty much everything. I rarely use canned lentils, but I bought them once because I thought, well, I should you know, be able to show my clients how we can incorporate canned lentils into their life. So you can actually buy them. These are simple truth. You know, they're great. 
um, easy to drain, throw them into a salad, you can throw them into a chili, you can do anything. Uh, this is a tri-blend, so multiple um, types of beans in there, but I always keep some kind of garbanzo bean. They are also called Great Northern Beans, and I don't see them here. Um, oh yeah, here they are. No, no, garbanzo beans are garbanzo beans. Crust, scratch that. But the other one is Canelli beans. They're also called Great Northern beans, and I don't have those in here. So um, you'll see both on the can. That's more of an Italian flair, right? But the chickpeas can go into a salad. They can go into stoops. 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 Soups or stews. The Canelli beans is kind of more of an Italian flair. You can do a little uh, saute with them with greens and uh, some... Uh, grilled chicken and all kinds of things in there beautiful, but they're also wonderful in soups and chilies and that type of thing um, I have kidney beans. You can buy dark kidney beans. You can buy light kidney beans You can buy whatever you want. I just have whatever was closest to me if I have the opportunity to buy low sodium Beans canned products. I will or no sodium don't always have them, but our easy fix on that rinse them um, and then we removed a lot of the sodium. The difference is as well in the Mama G lifestyle is we don't eat highly processed foods. So we're not eating foods that um, are packaged with lots of sodium. So the bottom line is what's your whole day look like, your whole week look like, your whole month look like, and then you can assess what your food choices should be. What else do I have? I have black beans, of course. I have pinto beans, of course. And then we move into all of my, be uh, my tomatoes. So I will always have Got to slide you over here. No videographer today. Um, crushed tomatoes is an easy one. And this particular brand, and again, uh, it happens to be organic, which I don't care if you buy organic. I care about what the price is. I care about you have it in your pantry. But this one happens to be no salt added. So it's a big benefit. So always look for price and then look for things like, can you buy the no salt version of it? Um, so crushed tomatoes are one that I always have in my house in the big version. I use them in the Mama G Lifestyle recipes all the time. Whoops. I also have these little petite tomatoes because some of the stoops, uh, stoops, I say it again, the soups and stews I make, um, I'll use these little tomatoes as well. I also will always have tomato sauce. What I did notice is that you cannot really buy, or my stores, I can't find this, find um, low sodium or no sodium tomato sauce, but it's okay, because then I just won't put as much salt when I'm seasoning my food, right? So I've got all of these happening. I always have some tomato paste, and guess what? I'm usually only adding a tablespoon or two of tomato paste to what I'm doing. So then what I'll do is I'll take a little tomato uh, tablespoon, I'll scoop out onto a little plate, tablespoon portions, put it in the freezer. When they're frozen, I'll pop them into a Ziploc bag. And then when I need a tablespoon, I pull one. If I need a quarter cup, I pull four little lumps, right? So take advantage, don't throw things away. I always have whole tomatoes as well. Um, again, I have all different varieties in here and I occasionally, which I was so happy to find was I want sometimes these green chili, diced tomatoes and green chili. I actually find a no sodium version because these tend to have a lot of salt in them. So all kinds of options in Mama G's kitchen. I actually found a, a tomato puree because a recipe that I was revamping had this, but I just used um, tomato paste, a little bit of it and called it a day because um, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever use tomato puree in anything. And then I also carry in my pantry, carry in my pantry like the store, um, our crushed fire roasted tomatoes. So I have everything that I might need right here to feed my family of six for a really long time. I don't expect you to have the amount that Mama G has because I have the room to do it and I do a lot of cooking, but a couple cans of each one of these things um, so that you have them at your avail if you need them, especially if it's late and tired and you don't know what to do, you've got these beautiful, wholesome ingredients available to you. Oh, well, we're coming back because we are very far from done. You know, Mama G always says, not about what you lose, it's all about what you gain. Have a beautiful day.